What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how to find the Fierce Deity armor set alongside with the legendary weapon, the Fierce Deity Sword. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. If you guys want to support me a little bit extra, become a member to the Jeans YouTube channel. You can do so by clicking the join button, or there is a link down in the description below in the the description like i already mentioned to become a member but yeah the fierce deity set is based off of majora's mask one of the strongest masks in majora's mask it was legit a god that is exactly what the fierce deity is but this armor set is phenomenal in this game one of the best it actually is pretty much the exact same as the barbarian set it gives you an armor boost gives you a charge stamina attack boost as well it is just absolutely amazing plus it is one of the coolest sets in this game so like i said let me showcase where to find all three pieces of armor alongside with the sword to get started here with this armor set there's actually a quest to go along with it you want to actually go to the kisinona shrine i think that's how you pronounce it, the kisinona shrine which is basically just uh right at the footland stables foothill stables right at the Footlit Hill Stables, right below Death Mountain. So once you come here, you're actually going to want to actually travel to this cave over here, the Cephla Cave. And over at this cave, there's going to be two people right here. And once you talk to them or even try heading inside the cave, they're going to hand you a quest, which is called Misko's Caves of Chest. And inside this cave, you're going to want to come in here and find the chest with the armor in it. They are actually looking for a piece of armor. They're looking for a treasure inside the chest. But once you get in here, there are just tons of chests. So the gimmick here is there's one chest with a piece of armor and the rest are just green rupees. Luckily for you guys, I know exactly which chest it is. It should be this one right here. So I'm going to pull this one out. If it's not that, then it's going to be a green rupee and we're going to have to check around it. But I'm pretty sure this is the chest. So inside this chest should be a piece of armor and it is the Ember Trousers. This is not part of the Fierce Deity set, but it is part of the quest. So you can actually find all three pieces of the Fierce Deity set and get the legendary Fierce Deity sword without doing this quest. But since I'm making a video on it, I want to bring you guys the quest, all that good stuff. So after you pull that chest with the Ember Trousers in there, the people who gave you the quest are going to be like, hey, you found that treasure. We couldn't find it, blah, blah, blah. Let me check inside the chest for anything, for the treasure, because they're looking for treasure. And their treasure they're looking for is going to be the Fierce Deity armor set. But inside there is going to be a bottled letter. So after you get done talking to these guys, you can open up the bottled letter. And it is going to be a little note in here. It's going to say, to who, to you who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another the Fierce Deity Sword. Don the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. So, they're saying in order to get the Fierce Deity Sword, you are going to need all three keys, which are each piece of armor set, and then you want to come back here. So, it's basically just a hint, cool little quest, but now I'm going to be showcasing where to exactly get these three pieces of armor. And the first one we're going to be starting off with is going to be over here at the Skull Lake at this eye so we're gonna fast travel over there and we're gonna go grab ourselves our first piece of armor so guys i made my way to skull lake and the first piece of armor is located inside of this cave inside this giant tower over here there is a cave and we are going to want to head to that i actually fast traveled to this shrine right above skull lake because we have to get up on high ground and we have to be able to glide over so i'm gonna go from here i'm gonna use my little power ups however you guys want to get to that head over to the spot in skull lake and climb up there and get inside that cave again however you want to do it and of course there's going to be rain soon so hopefully i can climb up this thing before the rain starts because that'd be a pain that i get uh it gets all slippery and it kind of screws me over and i feel like since i'm recording it's going to do that to me right we gotta climb quick don't we we gotta climb quick get up there link come on link get your, get your energy back we gotta get up there we're recording right now we can't have it rain just yet Perfect. So it's just about the rain. We actually make it here in time. And what we want to do is just jump on down. So we're going to jump on down here. Oh, I didn't even mean to bring up my bow. I just want to fall down. And we're going to fall down here. Don't worry. There is water down here. So you don't have to bring out your paraglider. You can just do a big old cannonball. And once we make our way into Skull Lake, there are going to be a few enemies. You don't have to fight any of them, to be honest with you guys. It's just a bunch of uh, uh, Skull Bakuguns and all that stuff. You can fight them if you want because they are kind of annoying. 
Or you can just run past him. I'll fight too and then I'll leave him alone. So I'm on my way. So we're going to fly over these guys. And we're just going to keep moving on throughout the cave. So once we make our way this way, there is going to be a Skull Moblin. We can take him out real quick. And there is also a Hinox. A Skull Hinox, actually, if you guys can see over there. But right above him is going to be a chest and a little shrine thing right there it's not like an actual shrine but you guys you guys know what i'm talking about and inside that this little shrine and this chest is going to be our first pierce of piece of fierce deity armor which is going to be the fierce deity mask there it is it looks amazing cannot wait to use that on to the second piece we're going to want to go to our map and we're going to want to fast travel to where is it at i know i pinged it i know i pinged it is it right here no i know i pinged it where's that it should be right here the Akala Citadel Ruins. There is a shrine right next to it. If you go in during the nighttime, there is going to be Gloom Hand, so kind of watch out. But we're going to fast travel over to that one. And this one is pretty simple. You don't have to run through really a lot of caves. You don't have to fight any really enemies. kind of just got to go over there and grab yourselves the second piece of armor. So this is going to be the second one. And I believe this is the chest plate. It could be the boots. I'm not too sure. But this armor set is absolutely amazing. I Like I said... The Barbarian set is one of the best in the game, and this one is a one-for-one, one, exact same stat-wise. You get the exact same stat boost, attack boost, all that good stuff. One-for-one, one, it's the same thing. It's just a cooler Barbarian armor, in my opinion. But definitely want to showcase to you guys and show you guys it. But once you head over here, there should be a little cave or something? I believe there should be a little cave somewhere over here. Is it in here? Might be in here. If I crawl through here. Yep, you crawl through here, and the cave is right down here. And once you head down here, another one of those little shrines. It is the Akala Citadel Ruin Summit Cave. And you can head inside here, open up this chest. And there you guys go, the Fierce the Eddie armor, so it is the chest plate. Now on to the third piece of armor, which is actually located near Hyrule Castle. So over here at Hyrule Castle, over at Mount Daphnis, right here on this purple ping. I'll go back out here to show, show it to you guys. Look out landings right here. Over here to the left is going to be the final one. So I'm actually just going to... Ooh, can I fast travel to the sky and make things easier? Yeah, I'm going to fast travel to the sky here. I'm going to make life 10 times easier. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to glide over there. Get there as quickly as possible. But I remember this spot in Breath of the Wild. There was like a big tree trunk. And I believe there was like a, a sword on there. I think it was a great flame sword. And it was really cool. Because I used to always go there. I marked it on my map. And every time there was a blood moon. I would go back there and grab that weapon. So it's kind of funny that they uh, that they made this an actual place. So we make our way to the Sky Islands. We're going to glide across here. And actually I'm just going to fall right down here. We're going to make our way. See if I can see it. Right over to there. That's a far glide. That's a far glide. We better start using our power-ups. <laughs> we better start using our power-ups as much as we can. I thought this would be a lot quicker. Maybe I should have done other Sky Island stuff. But, hey. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying. Hopefully you guys are sticking along for this video. But, yeah. The Fierce Daddy is really cool. And something that I kind of figured out a little bit ago is that uh, there are legendary weapons in this game. And what I mean by legendary weapons is there are weapons that are based on like older games so such as this one the fierce yeti sword from majora's mask is considered a legendary weapon they have the dust bow which is zelda's bow considered a legendary weapon they have the wind waker shield and boomerang considered a legendary weapon and all of these weapons are actually replaceable down at bargainers in the uh in the depths so you guys can break them once you find them you can always rebuy them for pose and it's really really cool i think it's so cool that they actually did that so these legendary weapons aren't just like a one-time thing that you can get in this game and go away. You can always replace them whenever you want. Once you get the bargainers down in uh down in the depths. We start making our way over here. Of course it's raining. I'm gonna get zapped by lightning, aren't I? If I get hit by lightning, that would be hilarious. Out the sky. But I know you can get hit by random lightning. And this one's actually tracking on me, and I will not allow that. <laughs> I will not allow that. So I'm just going to remove my master sword and make sure nothing else is conducting electricity my bow is of course my bow is okay let's keep moving <laughs> let's keep moving now we're almost there i'm running out of stamina though so i do have to drop down soon i'll use one last wind power up and then we'll drop down and i guess we'll take the rest on foot actually we'll see how far we can climb i really don't want to climb right climbing is awful you're just slipping you're sliding it's just a terrible little scene is to, oh, yo, I almost got that. That was probably the closest I got to getting hit with random lightning. That would have been hilarious. Now we got to make our way down here. 
and we gain our stamina. So maybe the Sky Islands weren't the best. We probably should have just, yeah, probably would have been quicker just to go to that shrine right there and run. But hey, I'm, I'm trying things out for you guys. I'm trying things out. We got the pocket blends. I'm just going to move past them. I really don't feel like dealing with them. And we're going to make our way across this bridge right here. And once you get across this bridge, it is going to be another cave, which we're going to head down into. And we are going to go grab ourselves the final part or final piece of the armor for the fierce deity armor. So we got all the bats. I can now bring out my swords if I want to. But what you want to do is actually kind of float. And there should be a, a cave with, like, tree branches around it, which I'm looking for a lot. I'm really looking for this, this cave. And there it is. It's right here. It's going to be this way, and once you make your way over here, you can tell that you went to the right spot. By these little vines and stuff, you can actually just chop them down and make your way over this way. And you know you went to the right spot if you see a stump here, because you're going to have to climb that stump. And there should be those little banners. Let's see if I can see the banners. Yep, the banner is right to my left, right there, as you guys can see. That's how you know you were going the right way. So you just want to keep climbing up to the top here. I'm going to get some stamina back right here. Oh, never mind. Not going to get no stamina back. Guess not. We're going to be able to climb this? We're kind of close. We're kind of close, but you want to make your way all the way to the top. So just keep climbing up here, and eventually you, you will make it up there. Let's see if I can just do a long jump here and just land. No, get up there. <laughs> no, I'm going to get up there. It uh, looks like we're... We're back at the bottom. That hurts his soul, man. All the way back at the bottom. I gotta climb. I gotta climb this all the way again. That's what I get for being risky. I always try doing things really fast. And now I'm gonna hop off here, get my stamina back, and just keep climbing up this thing. So now we're back to where we're at, and now we got more stamina. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's regain some more stamina just by standing here and make our way to the top. Once we make our way all the way to the top here, you're just going to look out. You are going to see another one of these vines. Chop them down, and inside is going to be the chest with the final piece of the Fierce D. Eddie armor set, which is the Fierce D. Eddie boots. So now that we have all three of the Fierce D. Eddie armor, we can actually head back to our original destination, which is over at the Foothill Stables, right below Death Mountain, right here, and back to that cave where we start the quest. So once we make our way back here, we're going to go inside that cave and we're going to put on the Fierce the Yeti armor. And once you put on all the Fierce the Yeti armor, a room is going to open up, giving you guys the Fierce the Yeti sword. So I just thought this was a really cool way of implementing armor. I really do. Like, especially with a legendary weapon on top of that. Super, super dope way of doing this. I, I give Nintendo a round of applause for that one. Because half the time you're just finding armor and it's like... It's kind of lame because you just find armor and there's nothing to do with it. But with this set, it kind of shows you that they put a lot of time and effort into it. Especially to get this sword. Like, this sword is legendary. So, really, really cool. So, make your way back to the Cephala Lake Cave. All the way back to the room where we found the chest. All the way back here. And if you look to the right, there is going to be a nice big wall. Take out your inventory. Go into your armor. Put on every piece of the Fierce Dietti set, which looks so cool. And then stop. And then you got a little cutscene. This door is going to open, revealing the fourth and final chest, giving you guys the Fierce Yeti Sword. And the Fierce Yeti Sword is actually one of the strongest swords in the game, base stat-wise. Base stat-wise, it is one of the strongest swords in the game. It is base stat 38, which is incredibly strong, and it looks insane at the same time. But there it is, the Fierce Yeti Sword. Gotta put it on. Gotta look sick with it, right? We gotta look cool with that. Look at this thing. Oh my lord, that thing looks incredible. This thing looks incredible. We'll put the Hylian shield on at the same time. But look at this thing. Looks so dope. Looks absolutely amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.